Hello everyone, I'm Mateusz Stabryła, the project owner of Land of War, and today I'll show you our gameplay from the game. The game was developed by MS Games, an independent studio with only 10 people aboard. We decided to choose Trench's location with many interesting weapons as well as objectives. We'll start by checking out the menu and its options and then start a new campaign. Each mission has a special scene with introduction to the location, time and circumstances and will be followed by a specially designed load screen with an order. Everything in each scene was developed with an exceptional attention to details. We included a lot of secrets and special objects that you will have a chance to find when playing. Thanks to the heroics of our soldiers, the enemy's advance has been slowed down. The Germans are clearly surprised by the resistance they face. We have received word that a Polish unit is behind enemy lines in the Third Reich. We're not sure how they got there, but we intend to take advantage of their location. Their main objective will be to rescue prisoners of war from the enemy. The journey will not be easy though. The prisoners are kept inside bunkers that are a part of the trench systems. German soldiers could be waiting around every corner. The attack on those positions must be coordinated. Part of the detachment will attack from the trenches, while the rest create a diversion. The risk is great, but we cannot leave our people behind. After we are finished with the gameplay, I will present you one of the collectibles, which is a short video. The videos will be stored in a book, accessible through the menu, and their total time will be about 14 minutes. So, let's start the game and I hope you'll enjoy it. I pushed with my group deeper into the trench. At first it was going well, but soon enough we were ambushed. <laughs> Me, oh my goddamn luck. We are surrounded! We have to break too! Look out! Good job, Kowalski. Man, secure the position. Now, we need to take back the other side. Go ahead. I'll cover the rear with the rest. Kowalski, here!
for the others at the crossroads. They should be here soon. Kowalski, go see what's going on at the end of that corridor. Just be careful. Yes, sir. <laughs> Seems I was just in time with that bunker. I thought we were done for. I owe you one, buddy. We broke through the middle of the trench with the rest of the squad. Follow me. We will join the rest and regroup. Okay. The rest of our group is at the end of this corridor. Peter, go help them. The Germans are still holding prisoners in the bunkers. We have to free them. We need some form of transportation to get out of here. Don't worry about that. I'll take the rest of the boys and we'll find a vehicle. Here, 
please let me out. Break the lock or something. I can't take it here any longer. Yes, thank you. I thought that was the end of me. So much. Guys, grab a weapon and let's get back into the fight. We need to destroy the artillery. We will need explosives. I saw that the Germans have an ammunition depot here. We should find the charges there. Drake, lead the way. Take the charges.
I should move away to a safe distance. I'd retreat to a safe distance. Peter, get a move on. I'm coming. Thanks. It seemed to be a suicide mission, and yet we made it. Well, some of us did. We loaded into a truck and went to join our forces at the village of Mokra. <laughs> at least that was the plan. We looked on helplessly at the ruins of a burning city. We were ordered to redeploy to the outskirts of the village of Mokra. We set off from the city a few hours after the bombing. The village was quiet, but the locals felt uneasy at the sight of soldiers coming from the western border. The German troops were advancing at lightning speed, while we were used to trench warfare from the Great War. Our commanders, who were excellently trained, adapted quickly to the new battleground. And united by a fierce love for our motherland, we fought off the enemy side by side, giving the civilians precious time to escape. <laughs> <laughs> 